Reporting in high definition from the third floor of the David Student Union, this is the Captain's Log News Online. Hello and welcome to the Captain's Log News Online. I'm Victoria Shirley. And I'm Lara G. This week we'll be looking at the AED program, the policy changes for the registrar, Relay for Life, the Project Runway Fashion Show, and highlights from this week's sports. First up, Thanks to the determination of several key students and administrators, the Automatic External Defibrillators, or AEDs, initiative is being put into place. In 2007, SGA Senator Taylor Blunt, Chief Justice Lucian Mera, and former Secretary Mayor Schuager began to develop the CNU Emergency Medical Service Program. This did not go through due to economic problems, but with the help of Dean of Students Kevin Hughes and other members of the President's Office along with the students, the plan to place AEDs throughout the campus is coming together. A plan is currently going through the approval process. It's great that CNU is putting all these uh, safety measures in for the students. We have the big lighting network that we have and we also have the new AEDs. It's always great to make the students feel safe on campus. Certainly, and other changes that we have going on on campus are part of the registrar. The registrar has changed its rules in order to put the power of overrides largely into the hands of the professors and to increase the caps on class sizes. The caps on classes have been increased in order to meet the demands being placed on the limited resources that are currently available. In many situations, the only class caps that professors need to adhere to are the fire code limitations based on how many people can get into one room. The increase in classes can mean great things for students who have had trouble registering in the past, but can also mean a headache for professors who have to do the overrides. I just hope that these new class caps won't make our classrooms too crowded. I know, one of the main selling points for me were the class sizes for CNU. But at least more students will get into the classes they want. This is true. Speaking of students, many students are doing a great job to help their greater community. Last Saturday, over 80 teams filed into the Freeman Center for this year's Relay for Life fundraising event. This year's total reached over 47,000, which almost doubles that of last year. The proceeds go towards the American Cancer Society. Live music, food, a dance hour, and a drag contest were all part of this year's festivities. Prizes were given for top fundraisers. This year's individual winner was senior Sheena Clift. She was able to raise over 1,400 by herself. Wow. That's an amazing number to reach by yourself. It's great to hear that individual CNU students are doing a lot to help fundraising activities. Students are also having fun ways in order to give back to the community by recycling. This past weekend, CAB hosted the Project Runway Recycled Fashion Show. Corto from Season 5 of Project Runway was on hand to help judge the competition. Students were told that they could design fashions based upon recycled items that they've mixed in with purchases from local thrift stores. The catch is, if you bought something from a thrift store, you cannot use a shirt as a shirt or pants as pants. You had to reuse the items in a new inventive way for your fashions. Congratulations to all the teams that competed. The things looked great. CAB is always thinking on its feet to come up with new fun activities for the students here on campus. They certainly are, but also exciting things are happening in the area of sports. This past weekend, Sailing placed first and second at the South Spring Qualifier. Also, the Lady Captain softball swept this weekend going 4-0 and and baseball went 1-2. and Men's tennis went 3-1 and this weekend while the Lady Captains went 4-0. and And women's lacrosse went 3-0 and this weekend, completing a Lady Captain's Sounds season. like the Captains had a great weekend and for upcoming events. Zeta Tau Alpha's Rock the Crown is in the ballroom at 7 p.m. tonight. Students Helping Honduras is holding a fundraiser at Rita's at 7 p.m. as well. And on Friday night, Jim Carrey's Yes Man will be playing at 8 p.m. on East Campus in the Courtyard. This event is co-hosted by CAB and the Sigma Phi Epsilon Fraternity. An acapella showcase will be held in the DSU ballroom at 7 p.m. And that about does it for our first installment of the Captain's Log News Online. I'm Laura G. And I'm Victoria Shirley. Thanks for clicking in.